Yo guys, what is going on? And in today's video, I'm gonna be editing one of my reels in depth. I'm gonna show you guys from start to finish on how I'm gonna edit this reel in DaVinci Resolve. And you guys are gonna learn basically all my tricks that I know when it comes to DaVinci Resolve and what I do to edit a reel for Instagram, for example, like a viral reel from start to finish. And guys, before we get started, I wanna let you know that my brand new viral hooks pack just got released. And for the first 10 people who use the code VH50 gets 50% off of their order. Keep in mind, this is only for the first 10 people, but guys, enough yapping. I'm gonna hop straight into this tutorial right now. All right, guys, so first things first, we have a clip in here, and I'm just gonna simply cut it up, but I don't know if you guys wanna see me cut this up, so, I mean, it's pretty simple. You just kinda scroll through the That's footage, team. and you just cut the footage, and I use slash as my cut, and then say this part is empty. We're gonna hit slash again, and then hit shift delete, and that will bring the footage back to where you need to be, and then now you have a crispy cut. Yeah, so. it seems. Let's just just like that, all right? So I'm just gonna finish this up real quick and then we're gonna actually get into the actual meat and bones, which is the editing part of the video. All right guys, so I just have a quick 20 second clip of this and you know, I have a quick hook right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go open up the project file of the viral hooks and I just am gonna look through here and just see which hook I like want to use. So for example, I'm probably just gonna use this one and you know, it comes with all the sound effects and stuff like that. You guys can go ahead and just, uh, <laughs> you guys can check those out in the link as well. So this is the same pack that I mentioned before. All right, so back in here, it's just gonna be a simple, just copy and paste, so Command Z. And now we have- What if I told you that being a freelancer isn't as- So I'm gonna do, it's just pretty simple. So being, and then I'm gonna do a freelancer. So, what if I told you that being a free... And then, like I said, guys, these are all fully customizable, so I'm just going to size this freelancer down and just move this freelancer maybe, like, right here. Free... What if I told you that being a free freelancer... I'm just going to move this one up like so, and then for this last one is not easy. And then we'll just move that one up. So just as simple as that, now we already have a viral hook. What if so. I told you that being a freelancer isn't as easy as it seems? Let's and then it automatically applies this uh, fire Let's fire uh, uh, riser sound effect and then also um, a nice little grunge sound effect for this vert transition. Just say you get your dream clients, you get all the clients. Let's just say you... you so for this little sequence, I'm gonna do get your dream clients. The get your dream clients. So get. So I'm gonna go ahead and use clash variable display, and we're gonna go ahead and do bold. And I'm gonna size this up, and I'm gonna do get all caps, and I'm gonna put this one up like right here. Get your. And then cut that there, and then do your. Bring this one down right there. And then right here, I'm gonna go ahead and hit a marker. I'm gonna go into the Fusion page with this Git. And I'm gonna hit a transform. I'm gonna go into the Fusion page, obviously. And uh, we're gonna go down on the Y. And this is kind of how I did those animations, but if you wanna save time, then you can get the viral hooks pack. So I'm gonna go about approximately 20 frames. And we're gonna go back to 0 0.5 and we're gonna do zoom to fit, command A, double click, ease, and then out cubic. So now we have a quick animation like that. And I'm gonna go to template to make this look a little better. And we're gonna do the opacity down and then just do a key, few keyframes and bring this back up. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and turn this motion blur on to make it look a lot more crispy. So now. Get your. Get your. So then for this one, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. So I'm gonna do transform, same thing. I'm just gonna kind of bring it over to the right a little bit. So we're gonna start here, go to 40, uh, 0 0.5. Same stuff here, not in. I mean, you could do in, but I don't really like in. So we're just gonna do out cubic. Make sure you apply that motion blur and then do the same thing with the template. So just go to shading, turn the opacity down, bring it back up, simple as that. So, you get your so then right when this marker comes in, we're gonna go ahead and cut everything. Same clients, you get, same clients, you. Right there. 
Okay, and then we're going to extend this out to this right here. This is just something like an idea I have. I'm just gonna create a new compound clip and I'm gonna essentially, what I'm gonna do here is go to the color tab. I'm gonna add a new node and add a corrector and apply this to the timeline. And I'm gonna go to effects and do some box blur and I'm gonna turn it down and I'm gonna set a keyframe. So then I'm gonna grab another text plus because I want it to say dream client, obviously. So probably just gonna cut that there. We're gonna go ahead and do dream clients. Then I'm gonna grab this uh, text that I really like. It's called Necta Rust Sands, whatever. We're gonna go to the line spacing and just bring these kind of close to each other, just like that. I'm just gonna make this as big as, as it can get. Put it like right there. And I'm gonna go to the fusion page with this one and we're gonna do a little bit different. So we're gonna do transform, right? But this time we're gonna do a full animation, just bringing this completely out of the frame like that hitting a keyframe, and then I'm just gonna go to the end of this and then go back to 0 0.5. Go ahead and use settings, motion blur, shutter angle, uh, zoom to fit, double clicking, ease and out cubic. So now we have this like that. Okay, cool. So your now- Your dream clients, you, your dream clients, you, your dream clients, you. Okay, so then right here, we're gonna go ahead and use uh, this vert transition, which you can get from the essential overlays pack and on my store and then using my sound effects as well, we could do like a little click sound effect right here. Cool. Turn that down by six. And to get all the, to get all the clients that you want and you're making that 10K as a freelance video editor. And let's just say one of those clients out of the $10,000 you're making. So now, right now we have a viral hook. I told hook? you that being a freelancer isn't as easy as it seems. Let's just say, you get your dream clients, you get, get all the clients that you want, and you're making that, that. So now if we really want, we can make this simplistic and we can add subtitles and we're gonna just do, we're gonna generate them by like just doing 10 capitalized, so 10, uh, 10 words per line, maximum 10 per, per words. And this is just gonna analyze it, it's gonna do it for us. And obviously we're not gonna need this hook, so we're just gonna delete those. Let's just say you get your and then for this one, we're gonna do, we're gonna take out these, this, all that right clients, there. You get all, all the okay, perfect, just like that. Now I'm gonna use something called the snap captions and we're gonna use the, the snap captions right here. And if you guys wanna know more about snap captions, you're gonna have to most likely look up a YouTube video. Some guy kind of created it for DaVinci Resolve community and it's completely free. So if you wanna go check that out, it's super easy to install. It's nothing crazy, but I'm gonna go to workspaces and script comp and I'm gonna go to snap captions. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to pick a new font and we're just gonna generate it. Just like this, and we're gonna see what it turns out to Let's be. Let's just say, just say you get your dream. So we have this cool looking you're font. making that 10K as. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to actually make this. So in the Fusion page, I'm gonna show you guys how I actually did this. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is add glow to your footage, okay? so. Add some glow, and if you can see my settings over here, I'm not gonna re-completely do it, but you can see my glow size is at 59, and then my glow is turned down, actually. And then we have a drop shadow, and we have the drop shadow, uh, we turned the shadow strength all the way up, and then the blur down, and then the drop distance really close. So that way it looks really crispy. Then we added a transform, just basically like a simple up animation. So I put it at 0.48, and then I went 10 frames and I just put it back to normal and I did what we were doing in the previous. So if you check this out, it's just a simple animation just like that. So if you guys are kind of wondering how I got the little gradient, you can just go to shading and enable the number one and just literally do a gradient kind of similar to like that. So that's exactly how I was able to do that. And honestly guys, the video is most likely done to be honest. And when it comes to my editing, really all I care about is the hook to grab the viewer's attention. So guys, if you wanna just add effortless hooks into your videos and literally with a snap of a finger and just adjust them really, really easily, guys, go check out the pack. It's probably one of my greatest packs I've ever released and it just got released. Like literally the day you are seeing this is when it got released. So like I said, guys, first 10 people to use the code VH50 gets 50% off for only the first 10 people. So. If you're one of those lucky 10 people, then congratulations. But guys, that is pretty much how I edit my reels in DaVinci Resolve. And stay tuned for more content because I'm about to start banging out content for you guys. And guys, if you want to help me out, then please leave a like and subscribe on this video. And if you want to help me out even more, go buy the pack. I also have other packs like the starter pack bundle and then my whole entire site bundle as well. But 
That's enough yapping, guys. I will see you guys in the next video.